Thanks for clicking on this video tutorial. This is Bakapa Chinchulkar. Welcome back to Test Automation Tools Selenium. In this video tutorial, we will discuss how to create test suit in the Selenium WebDriver. Let us jump to the high level agenda for the today's video tutorial. First, we will be writing a Selenium automation script. Then, we will be creating one uh, Selenium test suit. Then, we will be running the same Selenium test suit. Let us jump to the Eclipse ID. This is a program I have created in the previous video tutorial that is uh, how to create and run the XML file manually. So this is a Java program that is containing one, one test and we have created in the previous video tutorial that is demo XML file. So in previous video tutorial, tutorial we have discussed how to create and run the XML file manually. So for example, <coughs> I will copy this same uh, Selenium automation script. I will paste it under the same package. Here I'm specifying the name of the name of the Java program. So let us say let it be as a one. So click on OK. So we have total two Java programs that is containing the Selenium automation script. Let me explain you the what exactly this automation script contains. That is a one test. That is a test one. So first, I have launched the web browser that is of type Chrome browser. Then I have maximized it. Then I have specified the one URL. Then I am waiting for some two seconds. Then I'm simply closing the browser. This is our Java Selenium automation script. And first, we'll discuss how to run these two Java program scripts. So you already know how to run a, a single Java program that is containing the Selenium automation script. So in the same way, I'll go to the second Java program. I'll copy the fully qualified class name and I'll paste it under the demo XML file. As we have discussed how to create this XML file in the previous video tutorial, just follow up to the previous video tutorial, then you will get a clear idea about how to create the XML file. So let me mention the tag here first class. followed by the name attribute this class takes one attribute that is the value fully qualified class name that's all this classes tag contains a number of classes say for example i need to run n number of tests that is a selenium automation script and the a number of Java programs. So that is nothing but one test suit is nothing but it contains n number of Java programs and a number of test scripts. So this is how you can run your test suit, create your test suit, and you can run your test suit by right clicking on that particular test suit and you can say it as test ng suit run. Yes, it is launching the web browser and it's simply closing the web browser. Because we have total two Java programs contains the Selenium automation script. In each of the program, we have one test that is uh, launching the web browser and entering this particular URL. That's how you can create uh, manually any test suit in a Selenium. In another way is, you can generate automatic test ng suit. Now I'll tell you how to create a test ng suit. That is your test suit. Just you select your the two programs, right click on it, just select the option as test ng and say convert to the test ng. By default, it will give you the suit name as a test ng, 
dot xml and suit name as suit and test test name as a test just click on finish button and here you are getting the test engine dot xml you can change the name of the test suit as of now by default it will always generate the test suit as a test engine dot xml if you open this particular test engine dot xml it is also contains almost all the same tags and that two classes with the fully qualified class name because i have right click on this particular two classes and i have converted that two java programs into the test engine this is also similar to the what we have created manually test engine.xml sorry test engine.xml is similar to the demo xml file because just we have created here so manually this test engine that gives you the one future you can convert all your java programs to the test suit you can run this test engine.xml in the same fashion how you run the let me execute this test suit test engine suit you can run any xml file in the similar fashion how we have uh, run the manually created xml file just it is performing the actions based on what we have performed what we have mentioned in the test i think it is complete, completed its task see here total test run is two and there are zero failures and zero skips that's how you can create your test suit that is uh, containing the n number of tests and a number of programs same you can try at your end if you face any difficulties you can comment in the comment section and if you got any queries just drop me an email please do like and share we'll be discussing next topic as how to do parameter parameterization in selenium if you are interested to learn more about selenium please click on subscribe button for this channel thanks for watching